Hey, you see, it seems like things with Hamina Planner are going really well. Uh, we've got quite a few customers that are, even though it's in a commercial beta right now, like we've got customers using it as their full-time design tool. People seem to enjoy it. I enjoy using it. It's fast, it's smooth, but there's definitely something in the design and validation and deployment life cycle. And uh, it seems like maybe we should uh, we should talk about that a little bit and kind of let people know what our plans are. What do you think? Absolutely, absolutely, we should. Uh, so let's talk about site surveys a little bit. You know our Hamina strategy uh, two, two-folded, right? There will be a uh, site survey measurement troubleshooting application, and then there will be hardware. So um, should we talk about the application first? What do you think? Yeah, ab- absolutely. Yeah, I'd like to hear, like, especially since Hamina is a, a, a web-based uh, planning tool, which I absolutely love because that means it doesn't really matter what operating system I'm on or what browser I want to use. Like, it just works everywhere. I love that. Uh, but, but yeah, maybe we should talk about, like, the plan around, uh, like, how we're going to accomplish uh, site survey, considering that the planner is a web-based application. Absolutely. So site surveys will be a little different. It will be a fat application that will be installed on mobile phones as well as laptops uh, so that, you know, even if you don't have any connection to the internet, it still works uh, flawlessly all the time. As you know, our planner, it works even on international flights with a really, really bad internet connection. But we want to make sure the site survey works even if you have zero internet connection. So that's kind of the idea on the app mobile devices as well as laptops, installable application. And then if we look at uh, the other side of the coin, it will be measurement hardware that connect to that mobile application or laptop run application. Awesome. And I'm I'm really excited about the the hardware component of this because uh because we've got this kind of twofold strategy that I'm gonna let you talk about here in a second. But I, I just love hardware. I think hardware measurement devices, tools, it's all super fun. So yeah, like do you want to talk a little bit about uh about what the, the strategy is going to be around hardware? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh we will be providing a dedicated 6E uh, measurement device. That's multi-radio 6E, all that goodness uh, tailor-made for the purpose. And then uh, you can actually connect a tri-band 2, 4, 5, and 6 gigahertz spectrum analyzer to it as well if you so desire, but that's an optional extra. And then on top of the dedicated stuff, we are also compatible with many, many, many uh, industry standard measurement solutions as well. I love that. Uh, so first off, I'm super excited about the dedicated the dedicated measurement hardware. That is really, really exciting to me. And I really like the the strategy of spectrum analysis being kind of an optional add-on thing because, well, I, don't get me wrong. I love spectrum analysis. It's one of my all-time favorite things. It's how I got into Wi-Fi. Like I started out in spectrum analysis, but I also recognize that not everybody needs it every time they survey. And so I really like that it's kind of an optional thing. Second, I am really, really excited about the ability to use third-party Hamina compatible devices. I love tools. I love, I love gadgets. I love toys. I love all that stuff. In fact, you see, I feel like this is, this is almost just a strategy for you to give us excuses to have to go out and buy all of our, our favorite <laughs> tools. Is that what's really it going really on is. here? Yeah, it, it really is. At least we can use it as a, as a pretty good excuse, right? Uh, but it also serves the customer in so many ways. Uh, you know, the best device that you have might actually be the one you have at hand. You may not have your dedicated kick-ass multi-radio device at hand or, or you, you know, when, when you're out troubleshooting. And then maybe you should actually be able to... Uh, you know, put that handheld testing device and connect that into our survey application. Or maybe, uh, you know, you want to measure private cellular networks, 4G, 5G, CBRS, what have you. Uh, so, so we'll have mul- multiple vendor solutions available for that. Maybe you already have a spectrum analyzer. You will be able to connect your, your existing spectrum analyzer into Hamina. There's so many use cases. The third one I want to notice now that I'm off and babbling about it, uh, sorry for the long monologue, is what if you want to do validation surveys using the actual real devices? So we will be making clients on many, many of the existing, uh, you know, use end user devices that you can use use to measure true network connectivity while you are performing the site surveys. And you can do use this at the same time, right? You could use our dedicated measurement device at the same time as you do validation 
on a uh, you know end user what is it least capable most common uh, type of device or whatever the uh, term is for that so that's kind of you know the many phases of the measurement strategy awesome i love that okay so uh number one question i'm sure everybody is going to have is when when uh, when do you think we'll start to introduce some of these features and uh when do you think we'll you know how long is it going to take to get some of these capabilities started and and uh, and all fleshed out that's a good question the goal is to start uh rolling out some kind of an mvp of the solution late this year uh with more capabilities more features more support for devices uh coming then during 2023 but we're very very serious don't get me wrong we're very serious about the site survey component as well it just takes a little bit longer to build Awesome. I love it. All right. Well, for everybody that's that's watched this, thank you so much for, for joining us for this little video. Um, if you want to find out more, I recommend heading over to our, our website at hamina.com. If you scroll down to the bottom, there's a contact us form. You see how many emails are we going to send people if they fill out that form? Like how many per day? Do you think? Per day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, no, yeah. no. With, we, uh, seriously, like, I don't know. We do it like once every two weeks, once every month. We've been terrible at it. I apologize. We haven't been sending enough emails from there, yeah. apparently. Yeah, so, exactly. We're and the also, that doesn't send enough, I feel. Enough emails. Yeah, like number one complaint. We're not sending enough emails. <laughs> uh, also, how about uh, LinkedIn, Twitter? Probably good places to watch as well for Absolutely. updates Absolutely. about the product, what's Walrus going on at the office. Yeah. Yep. What's going on with the latest uh, Walrus and, and Hamina news and things like that. So yeah, keep an eye out on, on Twitter and LinkedIn and, and be sure to sign up on our website. So awesome. Thanks for going through this with, with me, uh, UC. We'll talk to you Thank soon. Thank you so much, Joel. Talk soon, man.